disposal. Because of the increase in the population and the change of lifestyle, the use of use and throw products is increasing day by day. Hence, it is important to manage and dispose of the waste products properly. This method of making the unused and useless articles reusable as per our own need or the method by which their quantity is reduced is called waste disposal. Wastes can be disposed in the following manner. By reducing the quantity of wastes, by reusing the waste, by recycling them. Reducing the quantity of solid waste. The solid waste can be reduced by the following different ways. By burning. The combustible waste products such as the dry leaves, dry grass and polythene are collected and burnt in an open space. This is however not a proper method. The smoke coming out from the burnt substance is harmful and pollutes the environment. Burying in the soil Waste such as dead animals, pieces of fruits and vegetables etc. are buried by digging a pit in the soil. Landfilling This is one of the oldest ways of reducing the solid waste. In this process, the solid waste is thrown in a barren land that is away from the human habitation. Then. It is spread into thin layers and then covered by soil. Later, a bulldozer is passed over it in order to press the waste. This method is used in the villages for the ditches. However, this method has its shortcomings. These include People in search of useful material in the debris often spread it because of which the foul smell spreads and environment gets polluted. Mosquitoes often breed in these pits, causing health issues to the people living around it. By converting it into biofertilizer. In order to convert the waste into fertilizer, a pit is dug in the school or house premises. The organic waste is added into it and then is covered with leaves and soil. Biofertilizer is ready after about a month of putting it in the pit. By recycling. Various components of the solid waste can be disposed after they are reused. This process of changing the shape of the waste and unusable substances and preparing them for reutilization is called recycling. For example, rice, cotton and bran can be used for construction of house after it is mixed with the soil. Sawdust as fuel, animal hair, for making brushes. By dissolving the waste papers and waste newspapers, low quality paper and cardboard can be prepared. Disposal of liquid waste substances. By reducing the quantity. Do not waste the amount of water used in the houses so that the waste of water can be reduced. Reutilization. Rainwater can be reused by collecting and storing it so that it can be used during water crisis. Kitchen water can be reused in the garden. Cattle dung can be reused in the biogas plants. Recycling Waste water can be mixed in water, otherwise the water will be infectious and will be of no use for drinking and bathing. Disposal of gaseous waste The gaseous waste can be disposed of by the following ways. Quantity of smoke can be reduced by using stove or gas. Unlead petrol should be used in the vehicles and filters should be used to prevent the coming of the poisonous smoke. Car pooling should be done so as to ensure less amount of cars move in the city. Management of waste products. Regular collection of the waste products and their disposal at proper intervals is called the management of the waste products. Solid waste management. Individual and Community Cooperation Every day, a sweeper comes to the locality in order to sweep the garbage. Once done, the garbage is transferred to the city with the help of different vehicles. Then, it is disposed of outside the city. But the garbage from different institutions is not collected. So, it remains scattered in the premises. Instead of throwing the garbage in the dustbin, people throw it here and there. They should be made aware to throw the garbage in the dustbin, not elsewhere. 
The leftover food, polythene, groundnut and fruit peels are thrown on roads and railway platforms. People should be punished for doing so and awareness for this negligence should be raised. There are different types of waste in the garbage. Hence, it should be separated before it is disposed. They can be separated as Biodegradable garbage The garbage that can be decomposed is called biodegradable garbage. Waste such as peels of fruits and vegetables fall into the category of biodegradable waste. Non-biodegradable garbage The waste that cannot be decomposed into simpler particles is called non-biodegradable garbage. Garbage such as plastic, glass and metals fall in the category of non-biodegradable waste. Government Cooperation It is the responsibility of the municipality or the Gram Panchayat to collect and remove the waste from the public places and throw it away from the human habitation. There is a separate waste management department in big cities like Delhi, Mumbai, etc.